how much would you say for somebody that, let, let's just say if your shoulders are, um, I don't know, 20 inches wide, how far apart at its widest would your arms be? 20 inches? Or would they be slightly narrower from the than the width of your body? Yep. Uh, so if you're looking front on, yeah, it'd be slightly yeah. slightly narrower. So I'll pull I'll pull up another video here because I think there's and I, and I guess I'm sort of uh, guilty of this as well. Is you know we talk about enter in line with your shoulders and, and reach forwards, and you you want to try and you want to avoid that crossover. And I think the crossover can be a big focus because it's the most obvious one for most people. Like you can look at someone swimming straight away and it's like they're crossing over. They've got to you know, stop crossing over. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's an easy one. It, yeah, it's a really easy one to, um, to yeah. spot. So I think there, there can be too much of a, a bias to like keep it out really wide or you know, here. But really we want to, want to keep it in sort of here a lot tighter, a lot closer to the center. So no, we don't want to cross it, but you, you want to keep it in close to the center. So... I'll show you here with, um, this is Dan Smith here. Hopefully this one's opened up. Yeah. All right. So if, you, if we have a look from the top view. Oh, very narrow. It's yes. almost right on his center line. Yeah, that's it. Like it's, it's, it's not crossing the center. Like he enters there in line with the shoulder, but you can see how, see that position? It's like, so he's so narrow through, um, through mm -hmm. his body there, but it's, it's, it's right up along the center. So that might be where you need to, to feel like you're going to, if, if you are currently trying to keep it out sort of wider than that. Yeah. Yeah. And that, there was that one video that you included in my analysis, which people can, can look at at the end of this video that you showed me how narrow, I think it was your swimming actually, that it, it looks like a really, really narrow channel. Yeah, so that was um, oh, that was a guy Peter Kerr who he's retired now, but he was a professional triathlete here in Australia for a long time. And I, I thought it'd be good to include some footage of him because he's um, yeah, he's like he's keeping it really sort of. He has probably one of the longer, so probably what one of the longer strokes that I've seen in terms of like he really reaches out and stretches far. So that's probably more on the, the further down the scale of how far you need to reach, but. Uh, yeah, I think it was good just to sort of make that com comparison there. And even like, I might pull it up here. So I'll show you, I'll show you Annabelle Luxford, which I don't know if I've showed you footage of her before, but. No, I haven't actually ever seen swim footage of her. So I've got some footage here, which I'll screen share. Now it's because with, with Annabelle, like she's, she's, obviously a great swimmer. She's right up there. Um, but there's like, in terms of like a high elbow catch and stuff, like she's not, um, she doesn't really have an obvious high elbow catch, but she's got a great rating. She's really good at that power diamond position. And, um, and she's just like, she gets pretty narrow through the stroke. So I'll play it through here. Oh, actually that's her with paddles. Uh, we'll have a look from above anyway. And she's even got you know, a bit of a crossover happening here, but you can see again, just kind of where she's at in terms of that, that shoulder and reaching forwards. So I reckon if you're oh, able yeah. to get to a position that, you know, a bit like that, um, like, boy, you're going to be, you're going to be really narrow. You're going to be getting, I reckon another 10 to 10 to 15% more distance out of each stroke. And and that's obviously going to help you just with that Serape effect. So that better connection through the whole body. And you'll find that you, you will be using those, those bigger, stronger muscles through the shoulders. Uh, once you, once you do that. And I think maybe I haven't got, here we go. The underwater footage, like, so you can see how that shoulders, you know, kind of up near the side of the face a bit. She's really length reaching out with it. Um, now here she's got her fingers below her wrist. Now that elbow kind of looks dropped there, which it, it sort of isn't even there. Like it's not, it's not your classic high elbow catch. And even Josh Amberger, which we've looked at footage of, he's in a, a somewhat similar position through there. Um, mm -hmm. But when you, when we have a look from the front, which I don't know if I've, I've got here and that one's probably a little bit better, but it just goes to show that you don't need to get to this really extreme high elbow catch. We just want to, we just want to get sort of those other things right. And if you have a look at her, 
if you tra- if you trace her fingers here, just see how it continually sort of moves downwards in that quarter circle shape that she's got down, there. Down, Even she- down, down. And same through, through and there even, as well. Yeah, through there. And, and it can start to come up once you get to about there because it's, I don't know if, I think we looked at it last time, it's like a half a light bulb or half a light globe. If we were to trace the fingers, that sort of shape that the, um, that the fingers would trace if we're looking side on. It's gradual though. It's gradual almost with her shoulder coming up. It's not, it's not her elbow coming up from the looks of it. Uh, from the side view? Yeah, if you're looking at the side view, it, it, her hand drifting up, it seems to be in line with her body rotation, her shoulder just getting mm. higher in the water, as opposed to like me, where it seems like my elbow is actually pulling it up. Yeah, yeah, very true. And you can see it there. And so you can see how much surface area she's got in her forearm and hand through that, mm-hmm. through that particularly there and through that back part. Like she's just getting so much drive from, from that good position. So, um, yeah, things don't need to be, be perfect. But if you, get, if you get that length and that good connection through the, the body, like that's a, that's a big one. Because we know with your catch that it's already quite, um, well, that it's improved a lot and there's some really good aspects to it, especially when we look from the, you know, the front view, like you're getting nice diamond shape and we're start, and starting to get a pretty good catch on both sides. So um, I think we still want to work on it but there's a good portion of that is, is there. And so making these small changes to the other aspects of it, I reckon is where you may want to spend your, spend your time working on. 